This is Tilda Lone and this is my fifth episode. In this episode, you're gonna know everything about how to make jazzy lofi chord progressions on guitar. Unfortunately, in most videos you've been watching, people were demonstrating chord progressions which, in a way, work for them, not for you. So, and as a result, we have a bunch of musicians playing the same chord progressions. Sweet chords, which probably are assumed to help our listeners to run into diabetes. Yeah, let's not forget about the importance of using major 7th chord, which everybody suggests. Major 7th chord has nothing to do with jazz. It just sounds sweet, but mostly we don't know how to use it and how to use it in a chord progression. When you don't have a scale, you don't have movement, you don't have a vector or direction, you don't know how to use it. So just forget about those static blocks, clusters or whatever, start from scale. It's easier and it gives you more understanding of variations. So as I said, by the end of this video, you're going to be able to make your own jazzy chord progressions. Now, this is very important. Remember, first step should be defining the vector, direction, or simply scale along which your chord should be moving. Since we're going to stick to the key of C major, let's find all C major scales on each string. It's easy, because as soon as we know the formula of major scale, we can repeat it on other strings. Now, let's start forming chords based on scale. We're going to play two horizontal movements simultaneously. Fifth string plays first degree, whereas first note on second string is third degree. Now, let's add another string, which will be our C major scale starting off on our favorite suite, 7th degree. If you want to look like an octopus, you can try playing first string instead of the second one. What about sixth degree on third string? And this is what happens when you combine seventh and sixth degrees into a pattern. And by adding a half step, you can play something like this. Thank you. 
let's try adding fourth degree on the first tree. This gives you more chances to have more melodic chord progressions. Not to mention how easy it will become to put a melody on top of progressions like this. So now you see that it's easier to come up with a lot of interesting melodic chord progressions, melodies, ideas. This is the control you have over your inspiration. So I think that will be it for this video. See you in my next episode. Chill.